In this lesson, we will be learning about the temperature sensor. It is this small 3-pin TMP36 device that is inside of a TO92 style package. The three pins on the temperature sensor are the VS power pin, the Vout output pin, and the ground connection pin. To understand any part, the first place you should look is the parts datasheet from the manufacturer's website. Analog Devices creates the TMP36, and here's the datasheet from their website. On the right-hand side of the datasheet, you can see the schematic symbol for the TMP36 along with different packages that it comes in. Ours is the very last package, and it also describes what pin numbers have what function. This temperature sensor actually has many features. The power supply can be between plus 2.7 and plus 5.5 volts, it is calibrated to output in Celsius temperature values. It uses a 10 millivolt per degree Celsius output scale. The output accuracy is plus minus 2 degrees Celsius. And the range of possible outputs is from minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 125 degrees. The general description provides a good overview of the temperature sensor. I will highlight the important parts that explain how this part works. First, the part can be used alone without any calibration and it can get plus minus 2 degrees accuracy. Second, the VS power supply pin can be between plus 2.7 and plus 5.5 volts to power the device. And third, at 25 degrees Celsius, the device will output 750 millivolts. And from that point, the output will vary in 10 millivolt steps up or down depending upon the detected temperature. Let's take a closer look at the device to make sure all of that was clear. So pin 1 connects to power, plus 2.7 to 5.5 volts, and pin 3 connects to ground. And then pin 2 will output a voltage between 100 millivolts and 1.75 volts, and every 10 millivolt step will indicate a temperature change of 1 degree Celsius. Or illustrated on a graph, here you can see the linear relationship of the output voltage to the detected temperature by the TMP36 temperature sensor. Again, here is the 100 millivolt minus 40 degrees temperature, the 750 millivolt 25 degrees temperature, and the 1.75 volt 125 degrees temperature. Since the relationship is linear, we can easily use some code to convert any input analog voltage into a Celsius temperature using this formula. Now that we've been introduced to the temperature sensor, let's see the hardware theory of how to build a circuit with it. First we will use the Arduino Nano board and connect its plus 5 volt and ground to the power bus of our breadboard. Then we will connect the TMP36 temperature sensor to the analog input A7 as well as to plus 5 volt power and ground. Next we'll connect pin D2 to a 470 ohm resistor and then to an LED. And finally, we'll connect pin D3 to a buzzer alarm, which will also connect to the plus 5 volt power and ground. Our goal for this circuit is to make it so that when the temperature sensor outputs a reading of less than 25 degrees Celsius, the LED should turn on. And if the temperature sensor has an output reading of greater than 30 degrees Celsius, then the buzzer alarm should turn on. So let's take a look at the Arduino code necessary to use the sensor input to change the LED and buzzer alarm outputs. Inside of the Arduino IDE, we first define the input pin as analog pin 7, and the two outputs as digital pin 2 and digital pin 3. Inside the setup function, we will use a new function, the serial.begin function. This will set up the serial port to run at 9600 bits per second. Later in the program, we will use some functions that output the temperature value from the Arduino Nano to our laptop, a very neat feature. Next, in the setup function, we also need to define the LED and buzzer pins as outputs. And in the loop function, we will need to do several things. First, we'll use the Arduino Nano's analog to digital voltage converter and read the analog voltage from the temperature sensor. This will give us a 1024-bit digital equivalent value of the analog voltage. With that value, we will need to translate it back into the decimal value of the analog voltage, 
Since we are using a plus 5 volt supply, we multiply by 5. And then, since the digital equivalent value used 1024 bits, we must divide by 1024. At this point, we have the raw voltage stored. Let's use the serial port's print function to send the voltage back to our laptop computer. Next, we will use another float with our linear formula to store the temperature sensed in Celsius. And similarly, we will send that value back to our laptop computer. Then we will do a quick Fahrenheit conversion for everyone in America and send that back serially to our computer. The last portion of code is a simple if statement. If the temperature is less than 30 degrees and greater than 25, make sure the buzzer and LED are off. Otherwise, if the temperature is less than 25 degrees, turn the LED on. Otherwise, if the temperature is greater than 30 degrees, turn the buzzer alarm on. Then we delay for 100 milliseconds before the next cycle. The code in this program is complex, so go through it line by line, function by function, to make sure that you have an understanding of what is happening. Then upload it to your Arduino Nano and continue on to the experiment. Now that we explored the theory, let's actually build this experiment and see it in action. The parts we'll need are a breadboard, the jumper wire kit, and the sensors course components kit. The parts from the components kit that we'll be using are the Arduino Nano board, the buzzer board, a red 5mm LED, two 470 ohm resistors, and a TMP36 temperature sensor. To build the circuit, place the Arduino Nano into the breadboard and connect its plus 5 volt and ground pins to the breadboard bus lines. I'll use two orange wires to connect both bus strips together. Next, connect plus 5 volt power, ground, and analog pin A7 to the temperature sensor. Then, connect digital pin D2 to a 470 ohm resistor, which then connects to a red LED to ground. And finally, connect digital pin D3 to a 470 ohm resistor, which then connects to the input pin of the buzzer alarm. The buzzer alarm also requires a plus 5 volt and a ground connection. Now our circuit is ready for testing. To test the temperature sensor, I have a lighter to make some heat and an ice cube covered in aluminum foil. First, let's connect the USB cable to power up our experiment, and then inside of the Arduino program under Tools, click Serial Monitor. This will bring up the serial output that our program continually sends to the laptop. So now, let's use the lighter to put some heat on the temperature sensor. You can see it doesn't take long to get warm, and the buzzer goes off loudly. Now we'll take the ice cube and cool things back down. Remember, anything under 25 degrees Celsius will turn the LED on. And there you have it, a cheap and easy and reliable temperature sensor system with real-time text output. In the real world, temperature sensors are all over the place. You can find them in hobbyist projects like this one, which uses the same TMP36 sensor as we did in the lesson, and also inside of desktop computers which rely on temperature sensors to know when to increase fan speeds, and even in our homes where thermostats are used to know when to turn the indoor heater or air conditioner on or off. In the professional world, environmental test chambers like these use very accurate temperature sensors for testing electronics in very low and very high temperature situations to see how they hold up. All parts in this online course were provided by the Gadgetory. Visit them at gadgetory.com pyroedu. Since we have mastered the temperature sensor, now it is time to move on to learn about the infrared proximity sensor in lesson 4.